This is said to be an incident where about 50 militants had attacked the police station in the Vana city of South Waziristan's travel district. And according to the local officials, militants in fact entered into the police station by firing a rocket-propelled grenade. A constable was injured in the firing. The militants looted all of the ammunition, weapons, along with other equipment. The tehreek e taliban Pakistan, for its part, has claimed responsibility for the attack on the frontier corps and has cleared the police station now and has now, according to reports, the Frontier Corps in Pakistan has taken this police station back into its control from the tehreek e taliban Pakistan. Now, if sources are to be believed, one militant was killed in the gunfire that was exchanged between the police and the militants and he's been identified as Ahmed Zada. Two cell phones along with two submachine guns have also been recovered from the dead militant and this is the fourth major attack in the region. Three people, including a soldier and two civilians, were also killed in a suicide attack on Monday in Miran Shah that lies to Pakistan's northern Waziristan district. The bomber had targeted a vehicle of the forces on the Thal Bridge, according to the Inter-Services Public Relations. The forces had then sealed the area and it started a search operation to capture the culprits. And my colleague Anas Malik is still on the line with us. Anas, this is yet another attack that has been claimed by the tehreek e taliban Pakistan. Now, just a couple of weeks back, the tehreek e taliban Pakistan had announced that it was calling off the ceasefire agreement that it had entered with the government in Islamabad. And ever since then, there has been one attack after another. And especially what's been happening in Waziristan is a cause of serious concern for the central government in Pakistan. According to reports, 50 attackers storm the police station there. Well, it is concerning. Terrorism is on the rise in Pakistan, not just in, uh, in one specific province, but rather all over the country. Two provinces have been greatly impacted and most of the most of uh, these attacks have been conducted by the tehreek e taliban Pakistan that, that had unilaterally ended the ceasefire with Pakistani government on the 28th of November. And since then, it's, it's roughly been two and a half weeks and we've seen an uptick in attacks particularly against uh, the, the security forces that have been happening and a lot of security personnel have lost their lives and in continuation uh, to the series of attacks that have been happening last night we saw that in Vana in South Waziristan which is just near or off the Afghan border we saw an attack at least 50, 50 armed militants had fired rockets and they tried to storm uh, into the Vana police station after a fierce battle and some resistance. Um, fortunately, there were no casualties, but uh, people, those who tried to intrude, they have been arrested and the frontier constabulary, they have complete control of the compound. But the bigger worry is with the rise in terrorism, that is the bigger worry, not just for provincial government, as I said, but for the federal government, because it is the bigger, the bigger issue at hand is to how to deal with uh, the challenge of combating terrorism, given that there is greater both economic and political stability currently in the country. Saleh. Anas, thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those insights. This, of course, is a story that we'll continue to track very closely because what is unfolding in Pakistan ever since the Pakistani Taliban, which goes by the name the tehreek e taliban Pakistan, announced that it was walking out of the ceasefire, is one attack after another. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.